Beef cubes with red wine sauce. I designed this recipe and I'm going to prepare this using the cast iron. And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. So I have about a pound of beef cubes about this uh, 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 farm and I'm going to put the link in the description because I do support farmers and small businesses. Uh, everything else is going to consist, I have a potato which I peel and I'm going to cut into cylinders, thin cylinders. I have some bell peppers, uh, when we, a little bit of red, a little bit of orange, you can go with either. Yellow is also acceptable. And a little bit of carrots, just a handful, cut in cylinders. About six or seven uh, teeth of garlic, which I mince. Some mushroom, and I like my mushroom, like I like my woman, somewhat wild and natural. I have about half an onion, I chop it. Uh, this is a chayote. I'm going to cook maybe about a quarter of it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it somewhere between a half and a quarter. And I'm going to peel it and I'm going to chop it into small pieces. Parsley. Not a whole lot, something for the final touch. Wine, red wine, real red wine. And I'm going to have some beef stock. Now you can go with water. I'm going to use beef, but it doesn't matter. What it matter is that you want the proportion of both the wine and the other liquid to be about equal, maybe slightly more wine, maybe a quarter of a cup more of wine. Um, I have a cup, uh, some spices here that I'm going to need for the meat. There's black pepper, small paprika, and salt. I went with Himalayan salt, you can use any. And I'm going to use a tiny bit of vinegar and extra virgin olive oil and some fresh thyme and oregano. I got both together, just a little bit, a pinch. So I'm going to marinate this meat a little bit and what I'm going to use, I'm going to use some apple cider, apple cider vinegar, about a, a two or three caps. Optionally, you can add a tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil, just a little bit. And then you keep it simple. You add a little bit of the pepper, paprika, a little bit of the salt. Mix it up. Then you add the, the salt, not the salt, but the uh, thyme and the oregano, the fresh. And then you can put in the refrigerator if you want to, or you leave it outside before you cook for a few minutes, you know, 10, 15 minutes. The important thing is make sure that when you get this meat out of the refrigerator, it's not frozen, it's out of the refrigerator, Leave it outside for about 15, 20 minutes so it reach the room temperature. So the heat transfer, when you cook it, it transfer quicker. So I had the potatoes in, in a pan, oil, cooking a medium. And the reason I have it a medium is I don't want them fry. I just want them to cook, get a little bit soft, you know what I mean? And they're going to be here for a few minutes, so. I'm going to move to the next step. 
So because cast iron takes a little bit for the heat to go from the middle where the pan is heating to the sides, uh, I leave it on for about preheating for about a couple of minutes. Let me reduce this because this is hot now. I have it at medium right now. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil. Because I want to brace this meat. I want to brace this meat. I want to do it right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give this baby some color. Okay. So I'm going to cook them until they get that nice looking dark side on the outside. So this comes to take me a couple of minutes. It's been about two or three minutes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove them. See how dark and nice they are? They are not fried, they're still good. Only a couple of minutes, maybe three. So I'm going to take the meat out for now. Now that I took the meat out, let me scrape it a little bit. So that meat, you know. I'm going to maximize this oil. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the chayote. And by the way, I have a short video in my description that shows you how to peel and cut the chayote. So I had the chayote, I had the onions, I had the bell peppers. And I'm going to saute them briefly. If you feel that you need to add a little bit more oil, that's fine, just add a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Saute this baby. Add the garlic on top. Mix that baby a little bit more. Now you bring back your meat. So let's bring saute and nicely, see how nice. Bring the meat back. Mix those baby out. Get those flavor mix. Do this for a few seconds. See how beautiful. That beautiful. I saw the broth. And some of that wine. Move that heat to maybe a couple of notches above medium, close to medium high, actually. Add your carrots now, because they're going to take a little bit to cook. I said let it simmer for four or five minutes. I should cook your beef, shift your attention to your uh, potatoes, reduce the heat to low, and let them cook for a little bit, um, they're not ready yet, let me uh, take a quick look, yeah, they're not that ready, almost there, so let them cook for about another Four or five minutes. 
so they get softer. Now that this simmer for about five minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the heat to medium. And I'm going to bring these mushrooms here now. And I'm going to add them. It's nice looking mushrooms, huh? This is optional. Some people don't like mushroom, that's fine. This is optional. I want to add a little bit of salt. This is to taste. I did taste the liquid a few seconds ago. I feel that to my taste, it needs a little bit more salt. So that's exactly what I'm doing. Adding a little bit more salt. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to let it cook a medium onto the carrots, which is my indicator now, get a little bit softer. So that's going to take a few minutes. You have to check it out. I might check it out every, maybe in eight minutes, I'm going to check it out. But it might take longer than that. That's what I'm reducing it to medium. Once again, you come and you check the carrots. They are not ready yet. So the carrots are going to be what is going to tell me what's up. Coming back to my potatoes. They are ready. So a medium heat has been eight minutes. And the carrots are almost done, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to start transferring the potatoes, which are very soft from here to here. Do it carefully so they don't break down. Let me move this out here. I mean, they break the break, but try not to break them down. What you do is you transfer them, you know. Get that potatoes there. See, get them from here. And you just transfer all of them, you know. Just transfer all of them. From one side to the other. So now that you transfer all the potatoes into here, reduce the heat to medium low. And let it cook for about four minutes, maybe five. The carrots are almost done anyhow. Yeah. So let them cook for another four, maybe five minutes. So after four or five minutes, you come. Yeah. The carrots are ready. So what you're going to do, you have to make sure the carrots are ready. If they are not ready, let it cook for a little bit longer. But now that they are ready, you're going to reduce the heat to low. And you're going to add the parsley. The final touch. It's very beautiful. And you're going to leave them there for a couple minutes and then you're done. 